And I, today I'm making what is called a Spanish dish. It's called boliche, which is a eye round of roast. Very um, economical. And this is already trimmed up by, you know, the supermarket. Uh, but you can also do an extra trimming. Um, we are going to braise this beef in uh, liquid. And then um, later, halfway through the cooking, we'll add some, some of the vegetables. But I want to get you started. This recipe takes uh, approximately four hours to cook. Obviously, if it's a bigger roast, then it would be longer time. So um, we'll cook it on the stovetop. You can also make it in the oven. You can make it in a crock pot. You can make it in a um, instant pot. Uh, obviously, you can do it in the slow cooker uh, portion of the instant pot, or you can do it under pressure too. But still, it's going to take a minimum in the instant pot for about uh, probably two hours or so. And the bigger it is, the more time it needs for cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what products we're going to use today. Obviously, is your eye round. And uh, we're going to use some uh, uh, wine. Red wine, if possible. If not, you can always use white wine. We're going to use some seasonal. Conchita is what I like to use. If you're in the southern... Uh, states they usually carry it if not like i said salt and pepper would be just fine too we're going to also use some olive oil to braise brown the meat and um, some garlic you, uh, i am going to add eventually some fresh garlic to the uh, roast halfway through the cooking process and also uh, onion green pepper a whole carrot and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with that now uh, fresh tomato but um, we're also going to use a can of tomato sauce, some uh, olives. Uh, we like the stuffed uh, pimento olives. A little bit of cumin, a little bit of oregano, and uh, like I said, uh, some onion powder, garlic powder. And if you don't have any fresh garlic, you could also use minced garlic too out of a, out of a jar. And uh, the, this is basically all the ingredients. Now, you don't have to have potatoes in yours. And obviously this is put, um, added at the last few 20 minutes of the cooking. Um, and if it's a uh, smaller potato like these, probably 15 minutes uh, before it's done. So we're gonna add those at the very end. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to brown the beef, get it started. And um, it, it'll take a, a little while to do this. So if you're planning on doing this recipe, I hope you review it today and make uh, appropriate timing to get all your ingredients and know that this is going to take a, a long time to cook it's a long it's a day long cooking it's like a sunday dinner so i'll be back in a minute to show you to show you how to start cooking all right let's start cooking this is the boliche or eye round roast i'm going to go ahead and pick the widest section of the roast and we have to make an incision into it to make a hole to stuff this carrot into it it makes for better cooking. Um, I am using a carrot, but normally you can use andouille sausage, you can use chorizo, you can use any kind of sausage rolled up uh, in a casing for it. And as you see, I'm just going all the way to the end, trying to reach the end, making a hole to put my carrot. So now I'm gonna go through the other side and do this section here, trying to meet up with hopefully the section that I started making the hole in. And what we're gonna do is put that carrot through it. Probably need to go a little further. All right, I had a little bit of problem trying to get the carrot in there. So we used the uh, sharpening knife sharpener and just pulled it right through so we can get the carrot through. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna put the carrot in to the rump roast or the um, pot, into the eye round roast, boliche. And as long as it's, you know, even at the front, then we're good. Remove the. We did. 
I did, like I said, uh, use a carrot, and it is a peeled carrot, but you can use any sausage that's in case, and like I said, just make the hole big enough so the sausage can go through, uh, sausage, chorizo, or whatever you're going to use. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our seasonal. In this case, it's sazon completo. I love Conchita products. I think they're the best. So we're going to season our meat. There is no, you know, one teaspoon or one tablespoon. It's to your heart's content. And for cooking people, you know, you have to season your food. But all sides, top, bottom, and all the sides. Okay? So this is the only thing I am going to use now, just the seasoning, just to brown the meat. And then I'll show you what to do. We're gonna go ahead and start it on high. Wash my hands. We're going to use a big enough pot that will hold your meat and the, the braising liquid that you're gonna cook it in. So we're gonna do one, two, three. That's what I normally use. So it's about uh, maybe a tablespoon. That was olive oil that I added. You can add, you know, whatever oil you have, canola oil, avocado oil. Uh, I don't suggest coconut oil because it gives a kind of a sweet taste to your meat. Um, and it's a little bit more overpowering, but uh, any, any you know, blended oil that you want to use or whatever you have on hand. So we want to get the oil hot and then we're going to put our meat to brown a little bit on it. All right, everyone, we're going to grab our eye round, boliche, and it's heavy. I was going to use the tongs, but I don't want to drop it. So we're going to put it into our hot oil. And we're going to brace it on all sides. We're going to brown it on all sides. Let me get rid of this. And it should just take um, probably a minute per side. And this is what you're trying to find, the color. There we go. I'm just moving it in on all four sides. And all those tiny bits of the seasonings that we added to it will stay in the pot. So we'll use that as part of our braising liquid. If you have a big family and you want to do two of these, you can put two of these in a big pot also. And the normal serving size, once it's cooked, is going to be about one inch slices. I'm going to flip it again. The other side. Once that side is done, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this one end just for a few seconds there and then we're going to do the other right. now we're going to lower the heat So about bottle number three for now. We're going to have one cup of the red wine. Now 
let that alcohol burn off. Or if you don't have alcohol paste in it once it's uh, cooked. Get all the meat saturated with that. So now we are going to add the tomato sauce. And this is the, what, the uh, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. I don't know if I'm going to add the whole thing, but. Yes, I will. I'm going to add the whole thing. And I'm going to fill the can also with uh, water. So the same amount of water. So let me rinse it out and put some water in there. So now I'm just rinsing out the tomato that's left in there with just water. And we're going to add that to our roast. So now to our roast, we're going to add a tomato. We're gonna chop up a tomato. And if you don't have fresh tomatoes, the tomato sauce is, is just fine for the usage of this because it's going to cook down. And it doesn't have to be real small or anything is going to cook down and it just gives it a fresh taste to the meat there we go we're going to just add these tomatoes right in there all right now this braising liquid is going to need some salt, pepper, um, and onion and garlic powder, just to end, because of the tomato sauce that's in there. So we're going to add a little bit of the garlic salt or garlic powder. Probably about a teaspoon, a oh, teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of oregano. Uh, half a teaspoon of cumin and I do need some olives also in there okay we're going to add some olives to our braising liquid it's like about two two tablespoons and about two tablespoons of the liquid. You can add more or less if you want. I think I'm gonna add a little more. Alrighty, we'll add the we'll add the fresh onion, garlic, and green pepper, and the potatoes later on. So for now, we're going to cook this on low or number or number three on your stove top or if you're going to do it in the oven at 275 for about let's say an hour and a half and then we'll check it to add all the other um, fresh ingredients the only thing we add at the very end is the potato so I'm going to cook this on low I'm going to go ahead and cover it with aluminum foil I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil so it doesn't lose any of the liquid it won't evaporate and we're going to also go ahead and put a lid on it and we'll come back in an hour and a half to check on it alright everybody it's been an hour and a half 
Uh, I took the cover off the uh, raising liquid with the pot roast, boliche, eye round. So now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to add half a green pepper, a whole medium onion, and about three garlic cloves, big garlic cloves into the sauce itself. And we are going to cook this for another hour and a half. And I had to turn it down from a uh, number three on my stove, which is a, uh, you know, a little more than uh, low cook. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna put it on number two, and that's what we're gonna cook it on the rest of the way. Remember, I still have to add some potatoes, as my family likes the potatoes, but uh, this is just gonna be braising the meat with the new garlic pepper and uh, onions. And uh, like I said, we're gonna braise this for another hour and a half. I'm gonna put the same cover back on. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set a timer for another hour and a half and see uh, how tender it is. See you back in an hour and a half. Uh, the other hour and a half. Uh, during the hour and a half, I did um, have to come back in because I felt that the heat was a little too high. So I put it on just low on, on the stove. And I added a little bit more water as a liquid uh, to make sure that there was enough water or liquid to braise these uh, potatoes. So I'm just going to add two small potatoes per person. And so I've got six potatoes in here. I'm going to cover them and just cook it on low until we're ready to serve. And I'll I'll show you what it looks like when, with the size that I'm serving uh, the uh, boliche with. And normally you can just use white rice. You can use uh, mashed potatoes. If you have potatoes in it, then you go. You can just eat it like this, or you can also make sandwiches with it, or you can have it with moros, which is a combination of black beans and rice, or congri, which is red beans and rice. But I'll show you as soon as the potatoes are done and fully pre uh, presented as it, uh, our dish uh, comes together. Thank you for staying with us. Finished out our boliche with the uh, sauce seasoning. The potatoes are done. I checked everything. Uh, the meat is tender. So the way we serve this, um, we cut them about, you know, about uh, an inch, maybe half an inch if you don't like that much meat, but uh, it'll give you enough for at least several people. Potatoes are done and you serve it with the sauce over it. Um, and a potato on the side or whatever size you're going to have with it. So this is the end of it. Let me know if you like the recipe. If uh, if you think the sauce is a little bit too thick, you can al always put a little bit more water into it and uh, thin it out. But hope you enjoy the meal and let me know your comments in this comment section.